Hello everyone, to study and cognition of the software BMS, then we made a series of software BMS and accessories teaching videos. Ok, let's take a look at our video catalog. If you have need related videos that you can find the corresponding service staff to get our teaching videos, today I'm going to talk about a connection tutorial for the KIN communication module. Let's first get a preliminary understanding of KIN communication through a short video. Let me explain to you a functional introduction of daily KIN communication box. First, let's introduce KIN communication. KIN communication has a long transmission distance and fast transmission rate. Almost its transmission speed is UART. Communication or RS-485 communication more than 20 times. It is mainly used in whole vehicles, base stations, and some advanced fields such as energy storage, or interstices. This KIN communication is used. Next, let's take a look at a specific usage tutorial. We must first prepare the hardware part, like the computer, the KIN communication box, connect the cable, and the activated software BMS. As for the software part, first of all, we need a dolly upper computer on the computer, and a spare and driver software. You are like a driving wizard, a driving master, driving life, you can all. The first step is to install a driver between our KIN communication box and this computer. We can put the USB end of this KIN communication box and plug it into our computer. After plugging in, turn on our computer, and right click to find management here. Find the device manager in the management. Take a look here, there is another device if there is a yellow exclamation mark. This is called Ken Pro because this driver has not been successfully identified. Now I will give you the first way to update the driver. The first way to update the driver is that our Dolly company will provide you with this drive. Then, you can put the driver on the desktop first. We right click on this location and then click update driver. At this location, you can choose the second item called browse my computer to find the driver. Then click browse and find the desktop, because it is the driver software that is placed on the desktop. We find the driver on the desktop. Then drive it and then we need to find our computer. Which system is the computer? Is it Windows or XP, and then is it 32-bit or 64-bit? Right, and my computer is a Windows 10 system and 64-bit, so I will choose this folder. Well, we find this folder, then we click OK, we click Next. We can see that Windows is written here, it has been successful, and your driver has been updated. We click close. At this time, let's take a look again, and then in this position in this universal serial bus controller, there will be a USB, can, write, like this again, there is no exclamation mark, indicating that its drivers have been installed successfully, ok, here, I teach you how to judge your computer's system and how many bits it is, and then we can right click to find the properties in this, on my computer. Well. We are in the properties, we can see this location, it is Windows, that is, a system of your computer is a Windows 10 system or something. And then here, it refers to the operating system of how many bits you are. Just like the one I ordered just now is this Windows 10, the 64-bit one is for everyone to explain, that is, you can give us the sales here, and we will give you provide a driver, and then in the driver, we will be like Windows 7 system, Windows 10 system, and this XP system, we can all use it, all have this driver, we can install it directly. We open the upper computer software of our computer. We click on the communication settings. Then, whether it is in the serial port settings, we click this symbol. Ok, let's enter our KIN settings. Then this information is our software, which is the factory default. As for you, you don't need to set it. Then you can just click to open it and open CAN. We can see that now, communication has been successful, and the communication has been normal. OK, we can refresh and look at it again, because the CAN rate is very fast. Here CAN give you a demonstration, for example, I want to read its page, one click reading, you can see that the data comes out instantly. But if you use 485 or UART, 
you have to wait for a little. Have finished talking about kin communication here, and finally, let's extend it a little bit, our kin equipment, our index and the baud rate are all set by us, and there is no need to make any changes. However, our kin has two channels of communication, what it represents, it represents our kin device. It can connect two software BMS at the same time.